everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be this makeup tutorial it's very red and smoky and when I got the palette that I used today in the mail I was like alright I have to go like full on red I love red eyeshadow I think it's so nice but it's a very intimidating color and a lot of people don't know how to use it and I will have to say that it is a dramatic color like there's not really any way around it unless you apply it just to the crease and then maybe do like some browns in the outer corner but if you are going to use the red it is going to stand out a lot on the eyes but again I think that it is beautiful I got the Morty Morty I got the Morphe 3502 palette today in the mail and as soon as I got it I was like alright I have to film because I haven't filmed in a while and I was like just in the mood like I really wanted to play with it and just see what I could come up with and this is a very very red look like I really wanted the red to be like the main focus of this makeup tutorial because I never use red eyeshadow especially in videos so I was like I really 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 want to utilize the red in the palette. So I did basically like a red smoky eye. There's so many nice shimmer colors in here, but I decided to just steer away from those and just use the red matte eyeshadow on my lid. I do want to mention that although the red looks very vibrant and bright, it is more of a red orange. It is not like a true bright red. It is definitely more on the almost like a pink toned orangey red. It's a little hard to explain, almost like a very deep, deep coral peach color but it is so beautiful and so pigmented as you guys can see like whew, it is red and I had a little bit of trouble working with this red because I tried to blend it out like in a V shape and it kind of went everywhere and you guys will see that in the video but yeah it was kind of crazy and honestly I think that this red might stain my eyelids because it kind of stained my finger now anyway the palette is so so nice though Morphe has really nice eyeshadows I'm a huge fan of Morphe like I bought the Jaclyn Hill palette I have the 35 oh, I have a few others like the warm and the cool blah 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 and then I also purchased this one when it came out I was like I have to have it I will have to say that the plus side about this palette is that it was cheaper than the Jaclyn Hill makeup palette and it's just like their basic I think it was $22.99 or $23.99 which is like their standard pricing for palettes and there's always like a coupon code or whatever but this one has the names of the eyeshadows so this clear plastic came on top of the eyeshadows and what I did was I just put it on top of here and I taped it around the corners just so that I know the names especially when I'm doing a uh, tutorial so I thought that was a really nice touch that they added considering the Jaclyn Hill palette did have the eyeshadow colors and it's just so much more convenient to have names than to have to mention these off by row and I really really like this palette again I, I mean I haven't even dug into it but I already know that I like it because I love Morphe eyeshadows and I could already tell by the pigmentation and the blendability of these that they're the same as all the other ones which is really really nice I love 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 these colors so I'm gonna go ahead and do some swatches for you maybe some colors that I didn't use this is a really nice coppery shade look at that color really nice I do want to swatch this golden color because I did use this in the video look at this color you guys oh my god this like orangey color looks like like a shimmery pumpkin color I don't know but I definitely want to do a full eye look with this eyeshadow I'm very into one eyeshadow makeup look so I'm definitely just gonna put this all over my lid and all over my lower lash line but yeah look at these colors they're so nice and I'll uh, swatch one more matte one for you guys if you will uh, maybe just like a brown but you can see like how pigmented they are and Morphe just has really nice pigmented eyeshadows for cheap. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Please share this video on social media because for whatever reason, I'm not getting as much views as I used to. So I would really appreciate it if you guys just shared the love. I love you guys and stay tuned for the tutorial. I'll see you soon. Bye. So I quickly wanted to mention what I used on my face. I used my Sephora Make No Mistake Foundation Stick with this e.l.f. $1 Healthy Glow Bronzer that I really, really like. I found it at Dollar Tree. I used Milani Luminoso Blush, and then I used my Master Chrome in shade 100 from Maybelline to highlight. So I did have to start with my Too Faced palette and use the shade Coconut Cream just to highlight my brow bone because unfortunately the Morphe palette does not have a cream eyeshadow matte color, uh, let alone a shimmer. Now I'm taking the shade Universal from the palette and I'm going to be running this into my crease. This is going to act as my transition color and I really want this eyeshadow to peek through the eyeshadow look. I want it to be very nice and warm and just very sunset-ish if you will. my 
my color switch here. This is so convenient. I love this thing. And now I'm going to be taking the shade Fire, which is the very bright, vibrant red orange in the palette. And I'm going to be using the same exact brush and I'm just running this right in the crease as well, but I'm going a little bit lower. And this is what I was talking about earlier, you guys. When I was trying to wing this out, it kind of literally went everywhere. So you have to be very careful with this eyeshadow because if the pigments fall onto your skin and then your brush goes over them, you're going to end up blending that part out and it's going to be very pigmented and just look a hot mess. I've tried to clean it up as best as I can, but the look comes together at the end. Now I took the shade Brave, which is a very deep brown, and now I'm taking this out of MAC 217, and as you guys can see, I'm patting this onto my outer corner and then just swiping it. So patting and swiping, patting and swiping on the outer corner to create a little bit of depth. I didn't show the clip, but I also took the shade Wiz, which is the black shade in the palette, and I mixed just a teeny bit of that and repeated that same step to really deepen it. For the lower lash line, I went ahead and took the shade Fire again. Again, I really, really wanted to make this eye look very red and I wanted the Fire color to be the center stage, like the point. And now I'm taking this cold black liner into my waterline. You can use brown or white. And for highlighting my inner eye corner, I really fell in love with this color. This is called Pure and it's their golden shimmer shade in the palette. It is beautiful. I went ahead and lined my eyes with my NYC Liquid Liner in my MAC eyeliner brush. And this is a dramatic wing, you guys. I don't know. For some reason, I was just feeling very dramatic this day. I just wanted it to be super extra considering I haven't filmed in forever. And I really, really liked this red eyeshadow look. I went ahead and applied several coats of mascara. And then I'm doing my lips. So for the lips, I used MAC products. Well, for the lip liner and the lipstick. Stripped down lip pencil peach stock lipstick, which I'm applying now, and then I went in ColourPop WeHo lip gloss. This is my favorite lip gloss ever, and that completes the makeup look, you guys. Very nice, very red, very fiery. I absolutely adore how this came out. It's so different to anything that I've ever done, and I was really feeling it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.